It goes back to indigenous futurism. You're always looking towards the future in everything that you do. The present creates the future. What you know about the past creates your present that allows you to prepare for the future. We understand that if what we're doing is not about the children, it's not about our future. I am a New York Town Hall Chair. It is my obligation to build and not destroy. I have to honor the second day's lessons to my ancestors, the parents in his life, and my community. I bless God for the principles of New York Town Hall. This is our teaching. The future is the children, and everywhere I've studied our history, everything we do is to make the children better than us not like us, and certainly not less than us, better than us. Take them to the next level. No, I find entertainment, this is not the end. This is the exhibit of that. The war has just begun, and I see them falling down. Have young people say to me, okay, Brother Kaba, but why do I need to know this? Why do I need to go back to Kush? Why do I need to go back to Central Africa? Why do I need to go back in the past? How is that going to help me today? And I use the concept of the slingshot. Yeah, yeah, the time is now. You know, you have a slingshot, okay? And you pull that slingshot back. <laughs> the question is, what's the purpose of the slingshot? You put a projectile in the sling and you pull it back. But the purpose is not just to pull it back. The purpose of the slingshot is to propel it forward. And by the law of dynamics, the further you pull it back, the further in front you're going to propel it. So I tell young people, let me get your mind and let me pull it back. And the further back I go, the further into the future I will project you. Because when you know what happened in the past, you can interpret what's happening in the present and you can predict what's about to happen in the future. Real justice will not come from a courtroom in America. It will not come from a judge dressed in black, sitting on a bench. It will not come from 12 jurors in a verdict. It will come from the people. Art. Everything we know about every ancient civilization, we know through art. We know everything about their science and their math. Communication arts is expressing the life system and what came out of that. So when you're dealing with performing arts, music and dance, okay, gym class, movement, and then language becomes how you express it. And so as you move into the next phase of cultural expression, you understand that it is in your cultural expression that two, three thousand years from now, your children's children on down the line, those that come out of your life system, your family, 2,000 years from now is going to look back on this day and ask, what did you do? And how did you express it? I was born to be a conqueror. I know I am. I know I can and cannot be in his time. Be in his time. Be in his
there is a spiritual revolution occurring. There is a physical revolution occurring, a mental revolution, and a soulful revolution occurring. I knew Gil Scott him, and I used to talk to him, and he would drop some information about his piece that he did on the revolution will not be televised. What you see happening in the street that they call revolution, that's not revolution. That is the result of the revolution. Revolution happens in your mind. If you can visualize it, you can actualize it. If you can imagine it, you can do it. You can, you can, you can do it.